Hi, I'm Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astronumerologist, here to share the astrology numerology forecast for July 2014 with you. Now June was pretty intense with the number 13 activated and Mercury retrograde at the same time. I'm sure you experienced some of the intensity. You know, anytime we feel confronted, there's an equally strong opportunity to transform and upgrade your life. And that process is really, really in place now. So in July, fortunately, you have a great opportunity to step up and flourish. By the end of this video forecast, you're going to see why I'm so excited about what's about to happen, especially near the end of the month. So July is a 14-5 universal month in numerology, and the ancient meaning for the number 14 is the scribe, the one who in ancient times hand wrote the contents of a book. And the scribe's position was sacred and powerful because it gave him secret knowledge and the ability to communicate these secrets to others. So July is really favoring all modes of communication through media such as the internet, publishing, speaking and writing. It also favors taking risks, changing directions, making quick decisions that result in fortunate outcomes. And since we're in the year of 2014 and July is a 14 universal month, this number is being magnified. When you add up the numbers for 2014, the total is seven and seven is the number of lightning strike and learning and intuitive hits 14 adds up to the pivot point number five why are these two numbers significant because both five and seven are in the one five seven mind triad in numerology so you'll definitely have those lightning bulb uh, lightning strike moments this month so i want you to pay attention to the ideas and uh, really allow those brilliant insights to percolate through you so you can take advantage of this code activation. Now the same 157 mind triad is also triggered astrologically on July 1st when Mercury, the planet of the mind, moves direct again. You'll definitely feel a change this month as your energy accelerates and you feel the forward momentum return. Now all of you with a strong Mercury presence in your chart or if you're Virgo or Gemini, you'll really feel happy about this change, especially since Mercury moves into Cancer on July 13th. That'll be the real moment of shifting for you. Now it's a very, very busy month. Jupiter, which stays in each sign for about a year, moves into Leo on July 16th. And then Saturn moves direct July 20th at 16 degrees after being retrograde for nearly five months. Then the following day, Uranus goes retrograde and it's also at 16 degrees. And before that, on July 8th, the sun squares Uranus, that's a 90 degree angle, and that's also at 16 degrees. So seeing the number 16 this many times in July, it's definitely a code breaker. And 16 adds up to seven, okay? So we have that already going this year. So as long as you are prepared for out of the blue shifts, uh, change, transformation, the ongoing theme really, uh, which really means you're moving from your old life to a new one, right? You'll be fine. So now I want to talk about the two new lunations this month because it's really, really amazing what's going to happen. There's such good news to share by the end of the video. First, on July 12th, we will experience a really potent Capricorn full moon. Now remember, Capricorn is a cardinal sign. So this full moon will remind us of the messages and experiences that we had during that cardinal grand cross in April. On top of that, it activates another new shorter term Cardinal Grand Cross with Uranus and Pluto and Mars. As a result, you'll be fired up. So channel your enthusiasm. Be sure to get uh, emotional boundaries during this time because any full moon is created when the sun lies opposite the moon in the sky and oppositions in astrology open up an awareness that is facilitated by other people and outer events. Now notice that the words opposition, other, outer, and opportunity all begin with the letter O, which represents the completion of a circle. Now since the sun and moon will oppose each other at 20 degrees in Capricorn, you'll definitely experience a strong urge to focus on your intimate relationships, right? The importance of other people in your life. You'll also feel a strong grounding energy regarding your loved ones or you may feel a realization that it's time to move on. You'll also notice how you feel about ancestral family ties 
and how that connection differs from the one you feel for your spiritual family, your, your soulmate, right? So your creativity will be very, very strong as well around this full moon on July 12th. So you will really have your feelings magnify and expand. Now the planet Mars figures greatly in July. First, Mars formed the shorter term but powerful Cardinal Grand Cross I just talked about you with the full moon, right? But then on July 25th, Mars finally enters Scorpio after being in Libra for nearly nine months. This is such a long time for Mars to be in any sign because it usually stays around six weeks. So Mars is so much happy in Scorpio because it was the traditional ruler of Scorpio back in ancient times. So Mars and Scorpio are, are very similar. They're passionate. They feel empowered. They're, they're act, they, they activate. And so Mars is at home in Scorpio. So for all of you who are Aries or people with Aries rising, you'll really feel liberated by the end of July. Mars was just not as comfortable in Libra, which wants to harmonize instead of confront issues head on. So if you have a strong presence in your chart, your life may have been quite uncomfortable uh, while this pattern, you know, it's like a holding pattern that you were in. That's how it felt like. So you had to put your attention on other people's issues and needs at the expense of yours. That's how it felt like. Well, now that's about to shift in a beautiful and invigorating way because Mars likes to take action and be in control of its destiny. And the insights that you gained over these past nine months are going to fuel your understanding and passion for your life and work going forward. In fact, this Mars placement in Scorpio is going to help all of us feel energized. Okay, so it's good news. Now, one day after Mars enters Scorpio, there's one of the most beautiful, magnificent new moons you'll ever experience. It happens in Leo on July 26, and I love this new moon. It's sitting right next to Jupiter in the jovial sign of Leo at three degrees. Talk about joy and expansion and a feeling of mission accomplished. Three is the number of celebration and happiness, and there are these are really the exact same qualities that Jupiter exhibits. So the combination of the, th of the three and Jupiter is just an amazing opportunity for love, happiness, and fulfillment, especially regarding all home related family matters, because it takes place in the fourth house in the universal chart, which governs your home. Okay. It forms a square to Mars, but that's actually really good because this will add a spark of passion and power and energy to a divinely inspired celebration of true love. Now your happiness is unlimited with Jupiter new moon. These are the moon, sun, and Jupiter right next to each other. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, which symbolizes enhanced opportunities. It's positive. It's uplifting. It's wonderful. It's, it's expansive. Talk about good vibration. And in any new moon, the sun and moon are at the same place, right? So they're right next to Jupiter. Jupiter's at two degrees, relationships, love, and then sun and moon, which symbolize consciousness, subconscious, energy and feeling. Sun is male, moon is female, action and receptivity. These are sitting right next to each other. Three degrees, creativity and joy. So imagine the truly remarkable expansiveness of light inside of you, rising up. Remember, this happens in Leo, the sign that is ruled by the sun, the, the giver of light, the giver of life. So truly, it doesn't get better than this. So I want you to go celebrate. I want you to be confident, to acknowledge your inner power, to unleash your creativity. Just be passionate. Let your passion ignite. Have the courage to embrace what you really want. What do you really want to do? This is your destiny. When you follow your heart, all doors will open for you and your work will feel like fun and abundance will follow you everywhere. So just follow your bliss wherever it takes you. Trust that you're taken care of. Now I'll be sharing many more astronomerology forecasts and inspirations in my free e-newsletter. Just go to tanyagabrielle.com, sign up, and I'll even send you a thank you gift, a free ebook, names, numbers, and destinies. Have a fabulous, wonderful July. Thank you for watching and I will see you in August.